Well, Ernie, thank you so much for joining us. Next up, Brazil and the return of sprint races. So, in terms of setup and preparation for a sprint race, what does that look like? Yeah, we've had two sprint races this year already. It was uh, Imola and Austria. Austria was my first sprint race, actually. It, it's a bit different than a normal weekend. Um, we do prepare in a slightly different way, of course. There is a bit more action during the weekend. There's a bit more racing. It's quite, it's quite exciting. You do, uh, you do tend to uh, focus a little bit more on the long run rather than the single lap pace because what we call qualifying, what we know as qualifying, it just defines the uh, starting order for the sprint race. So you tend to uh, set up the car in a way that yes, you're fast on a single lap, but you keep always an eye on the prize on the on the long run. And, um, and the sprint race is such as is like 100 kilometers of, of racing, so you, you do want the car to be in the window for that one. Yeah, and you sort of mentioned that how unique the setup is over a sprint race weekend. So how do you approach the different sessions? Obviously, you've really only got FP1 before you're heading into qualifying, so that's your only chance to really assess the data and look into it. So how do you approach that? Well, it makes it makes our job a little bit more challenging, doesn't it? Because we, we just need to get it right. You know, there are there are certain parameters of the car that you can prepare beforehand and doing your own work when you are back at the factory but a big part of our, of our work is done here so we you know we use the simulator a bit more we, we try to, to guess better things that usually we uh, take a little bit of margin so there is a little bit more risk in the setup decision and we try to uh, really set up the car for a wider um, operating window condition so that you know if it rains if the weather is not exactly as you expected then you're, st you're, still, you're still in the game, you're still in a good ballpark. For example, like simple things like how far the car is from the ground, you know, how uh, you cannot be too low. So you, you need to take a little bit more margin there and be uh, sure that you're legal at the end of the race. So these are the sort of decisions that we, we have to face. Yeah, and in terms of car setup, are you actually setting up for a strong sprint race or are you focusing more on the Grand Prix at the end of it? Well, in the end, then it's not, it's not too different. Um, I mean, the sprint race is 100 kilometers, so you can see as a a longish first stint of a race so if you are in a good window for the spring race then you are in a good window for the race as well so um, it's just like lower fuel load and you know the tire wear and the, 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 the way you you work the tire is a little bit different because of the different tire load but in the end all you need to do is focus on the long run pace where the balance is gonna go where the tires are gonna go what that tire is gonna give you in terms of performance compared to the other one so you try to understand all of it and you know P1 you do work on a single on a single uh, lap performance then once that's done then it's qualifying so for the driver it's very challenging and then P2 you do focus a little bit more on understanding what the tires are giving you because that's the thing that you can still change you know the flap and the aero balance so you try to understand a little bit better how to optimize how to optimize what you actually uh, have available on Sunday. Yeah, and finally, just from an engineer's perspective, how do you feel the sprint race format has worked over the past year? That's a good question. I think from a fan perspective, if I put myself in a on the couch um, and on this side of the TV, I, I like it because you know um, it's it's a bit more racing, it's a bit more action, and um, and on engineering. From an engineering point of view, uh, we do have a little bit more challenges before the weekend, but once the weekend starts, it's more racing. So I like that part. So for me, the, the, the fun part is qualifying and racing. You know, free practice is good because it gives us the opportunity to get the car where we want, but you know, we have fun when we race. So uh, it's a bit more racing, it's a bit more wheel to wheel, uh, dog fights between the guys, and, and that's good. And the driver actually makes a little bit more the difference in, in, a, in a spring event because the car is of course a little bit less optimized so the driver has a, a little bit more influence on the res end result and, and I like that part so I think, I think it's good and the fact that they're moving to six for next year it's showing that probably the fan do appreciate that as well so yeah bring it on. Well Ali, thank you so much for your time looking forward to a good sprint race and a good weekend in Brazil. Yeah, Thanks so absolutely, much. thank you.